and make probably a couple short videos to configure the in-band management policy for the APIC and the ATI fabric. To You're going to probably want to use out-of-band, but in the event you also want to have in-band, these are the steps that you'd have to take. So we're going to go ahead and start under fabric access policies here because we've got to create some initial stuff that we need. We need some VLAN pools, physical domains, we need an AEP, some policies, yada, yada, yada. So we'll just go ahead and jump right in. So we're going to need a VLAN pool. So go ahead and just do that here. And I'm trying to kind of get my naming scheme to work and make sense. So hopefully this all is good. INB for in-band, of course, VLAN, and then a pool. Pretty self-explanatory. And we'll just go ahead and make all the static allocations. So cool. Got a VLAN pool. So we need there. We'll jump down to a physical domain because obviously this in-band management is for the actual Apex, right? So that's a physical connection to the fabric. Um, and then also this is going to be for our L3 out. Uh, back to, uh, I've got a, again, 3560 connected to the lab. So we're going to go ahead and just do in-band, oops, I'm not typing. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and create the AP here in a minute, so we'll just ignore that for now, and we'll hook it to our in-band VLAN pool. So that's cool. All right. And then now we do have to go hook up our AP. Simple again, so just do in van AP. Um, infrastructure VLAN, I think you need for the VMM stuff. We'll just leave it enabled. I don't think it's going to break anything. Then we'll hook it to the in band physical domain. Uh, we're going to do this all manually, so I'm not worried about that. All of the wizard stuff kind of just confuses me more, just gets in the way. So, okay, so we got our in band phys domain. It's hooked to our in band AEP. So that should all be good and now we're going to go up to interface policies and link level uh, so we could probably rely on default because it's going to auto negotiate but let's just, just go ahead and do it right and we're just going to go ahead and do one gig policy this is for my connection back to my 3560 because it's just a i'm just using the sfp port because it's actually not even a 3560g so we'll just go ahead and create our one gig and then we'll also create a 10 gig and this will be for the actual APIC connections to the fabric. So 10 gig, there we go. Nice and simple. And then we'll go ahead and create a policy group here. And this is just going to be IMB, 1 gig. And really the only thing we need to do here, everything else will just be default. And then we'll hook it to our AEP. Nice and simple. And then we'll do the same thing for 10 gig as well. Oh, typing's hard. 10 gig policy, and hook it to our AEP. Simple, simple. Um, then we also still need to do interface profiles, right? Because we got to tell the fabric what interfaces are being hooked to the Apex as well as to the L3 out. So we're going to just go ahead and do and the Apex. And I've got it, I've got the single Apex, right? Because it's uh, just the, the lab bundle. So we should do and select and that's on just port one on each guys and we will use our in band 10 gig profile because we listed the 10 gig connections to the APIC nice and simple then we'll go ahead and create our in band L3 out profile L3 out and then we'll just do in select there and this is on port 48 and it's a 1 gig connection so we'll just use a 1 gig profile and then that's all well and good, but we've got to hook those port configs basically to a switch. So we'll go up here, and go into switch profiles, go to switch profile, we'll do IMB APIC. And this is connected to both of my nodes. So let's just go ahead and say, oops, oh, it doesn't like the space there. Here, we don't really need to do that. That's good. And then this is for our APIC, so that's nice and simple. And then we'll go ahead and do the same thing, and this will be for our L3 out. And typing is still hard. And this is on 102.
Okay. Sorry, I'm going to help you out, so we'll just do that. Okay, nice and simple. So I think we're going to end the video here, and then when we pick it back up, we're going to jump into the actual management tenant and start getting all the IP addressing and all the pools and all that stuff sorted out.